One of the most riveting and thought-provoking movie experiences that I had this year was when I saw the Malayalam film The Great Indian Kitchen directed by Jio Baby. The film was a gut-wrenchingly real and unapologetic take on the state of women in society and especially households, abodes in which they are hailed as queens but are treated just like second-class citizens. When I heard about the trials and tribulations faced by Jio Baby while pitching the film, it really did provide me a clear picture of the OTT landscape. While Amazon Prime Video communicated that the film did not fit a particular criteria, Netflix simply did not watch the film. Neestream, which is a small-scale Malayalam streaming application at this point of time, is not seeking for profitable gains through increase of traffic, but are working towards increasing the volume of its library so that people can tune in for the available options. Thirike, the film that I am talking about, has undergone a similar journey, just like The Great Indian Kitchen. The writer, director and star of the film, George Cora, who you might know from his role in Premium, stated that the big names in the OTT platforms are willing to simply watch the film pitched, only if it has three or four superstars of Malayalam cinema, or whether it has the buzz to be in the reckoning for several international awards. What has been the case, basically, for films like E Baleu and the upcoming Marathi film, The Disciple? Neestream again came to the rescue to give wings to this beautiful film titled Thirike, which translates to The Return. George Cora and his journey from an actor to a writer and director has been an arduous one and this heartfelt story while undergoing these personal ups and downs makes the moment of the film finally seeing the light of day even sweeter. Thirike focuses on two brothers who lose their parents at a very young age. While one is differently abled and is diagnosed with Down syndrome, the younger brother acts as the guardian and protective source of energy in his life, never making him feel inferior or less than his surroundings. The journey of both the individuals from the orphanage to ultimately being separated as the elder brother gets adopted by a benevolent family forms the storyline of Thirike. In the present time, as Thoma works in a bakery and Cebu goes to a special children's school, the young brother only craves for the attention and love of his elder brother. He longs for the carefree days that they spent together with their parents, when they dipped in the river and just listened to their mother sing. While the family understands this undeniable bond between the brothers, they are still cautious of Thoma, polluting their child's mind. They are protective like any other parent but skeptical of Thomas' energy that exudes resentment, feeling of being left out and separated from the only thing that is left in the world that he can claim to be truly his, his elder brother Sebu. This movie sparked the interesting debate about the casting process regarding movie characters. With the amount of education and awareness that exists in the world today, a lot of individuals seek for authenticity, especially pertaining to the representation of characters from different castes, creed, genders and abilities. While capable actors have miraculously churned out beautiful performances while portraying characters from marginalized sections of society. You look at Eddie Redmayne in The Danish Girl, playing the first individual who underwent a transition surgery. You look at Ashutosh Rana in several roles where he's played a transgender character with conviction, or even the sensitivity with which Fafad Khan played a gay character in Kapoor and Sons. Today's day and age and the debates that often materialize seek for casting people from those marginalized sections. You look at a character like Jules, played by Hunter Schaffer from Euphoria, played by a transgender woman or the role of Choti played by Aksa Siddiqui from the Neena Gupta film The Last Color. Both these roles contribute a sensitivity and realism to the roles that is undeniable. While this is not pragmatic from a commercial standpoint in Hindi cinema as they are star-led more than story-driven, Thirike and the casting of Gopi Krishnan as the elder brother diagnosed with Down syndrome is a beautiful synergy of realism and talent. Gopi Krishnan, who has Down syndrome, many would know, is a TikTok sensation, an individual known for his quirky short videos and infectious energy. While George Cora was casting for this role and seeked for consultation from the Baby Memorial Hospital in Kodikod on who would be the perfect fit, Dr. Shaji told him that of the 10,000 kids he was mentoring, he knew one person who was the right fit and that George could not deny giving him the role. It's safe to say that Gopi and George bonded and the journey of Thirike began, connecting with one another as brothers. The film provides a beautiful message at its introduction. Let's not sympathize, let's celebrate. Not falling in love with the pure and heartfelt performance of Gopi Krishnan in this film is impossible and Thirike left a special place in my heart and I'm sure it will with you too. Malayalam cinema has a beautiful ability to communicate with its visuals rather than spelling out the details of who the characters are, where they are, and where they are ultimately headed. The initial minutes of the film as the young brothers bond with their parents and as vintage Malayalam music plays in the background is enough for what the family represents, love that is stronger than the judgement and caution that exists in society. 
there is a simplicity to therike that will win your heart because it represents the importance of cherishing the moments with one another that people take for granted it may sound cheesy to all of you but in the pursuit of individual monetary goals i find myself living less in the moment and thinking about the next big thing constantly it in retrospect makes me realize how little i am in the present i see my parents coexist with me i see my grandmother aimlessly watch her soaps in the afternoon but i tend to carry on with life and what i consider my priorities but are we really in one another's company we often and understand the true value of relationships and things when we lose them therike provided me a harsh reminder to acknowledge and be grateful for what i already have therike is a story that communicates how one longs for these moments especially when it was snatched away from them at such a tender age Thomas simply loves his brother's company. He aches when he is distant. He cherishes the smile on his face when he bakes for him and wishes for that day to come where it's just him and his brother aimlessly swimming in the river and dancing under the boundless sky. The relationship reminded me of the beautiful bond between Shia LaBeouf and Peter Butter Falcon, another film that breaks the norms of the portrayal of marginalized sections of society. with such precision and beauty this is also me recommending a film to all of you while acknowledging that this film is not perfect it starts brilliantly providing you context to the bond that is shared between the two principal characters and while trying to explore the deep resentment within thoma it falters with its inconsistent and dispersed focus of what it truly wants to flesh out the need for a child like sebu to have a different surrounding or the real intention of thoma to go above and beyond almost to the extent of drastic repercussions to spend just some moments with his elder brother but there are some stories that despite its inconsistencies and bumps on the way keep the core of the film its heart the pure relationship between the siblings in place that makes this film sore and memorable the music by ankit menon and the cinematography by charan paul enhance the film's storytelling tenfold never taking a preachy or dramatic pitch but acknowledging and identifying the humor even in the tragedy just like george cora's previously written film with nivin pauli i think one of the main reasons i fell in love with thirke beyond the bond between the two brothers is the portrayal of an individual with special needs we often showcase these individuals with such melodrama and angst that it often portrays them from a distance as their own entity rather than as equals the exploration of their personal lives the abuse they endure the complete lack of inhibitions with which they live and communicate provides a beautiful and refreshing portrayal that you will rarely see in indian cinema this heartfelt sensitive and surprisingly humorous film is available on the nee stream app while on one hand being unique to the story it wants to tell it has a simplicity and beauty that will resonate with many if you think kerala being the land of stories is an exaggeration then this will reaffirm that statement let's do our due diligence and support such a beautiful story And that was a video guys. Write it down in the comments below what you thought about the movie. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. Follow me at Jamie Pants 4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.